Welcome to sarsicodes.com. In this series, we are talking about terms and phrases that have been increasingly popular with organizations or companies moving towards agile transformation. So here's me trying to help you out so that you can not only understand, but also use them correctly or appropriately in your day-to-day -day work life. In this video, we're going to talk about Scrum events. The Scrum Guide 2020 version says this. The sprint is a container for all other events. Each event in Scrum is a formal opportunity to inspect and adapt Scrum artifacts. They, these events are specifically designed to enable the transparency required. So Scrum combines the four former events into a bigger container event that is the sprint. So everything that happens happens within the sprint so that's the container so if you had to list them down or select from a list of options you would select the sprint then you would have sprint planning every day we would have daily scrum followed by sprint review and finally sprint retrospective which personally is the most important event probably after the sprint each Scrum event has a specific objective and offers an opportunity to inspect an artifact and identify the needs to adapt. Scrum events are supposed to eventually lead to reducing or eliminating any meetings beyond the ones listed in the Scrum. From an exam or interview perspective, it is important that we remember all Scrum events are time box. They're usually held at the same time and place to make it simple, easy to remember and be consistent and reduce complexity at the end of it. There are formal opportunities or rather opportunities to inspect and adapt and they ensure transparency, which is one of the pillars of Scrum. A uh, few plausible and incorrect answers would be that may be thrown out there to mislead you or confuse you are backlog refinement sessions as well as project kickoff. Again, these are something that are very important but are not Scrum events. That's all I had to tell you about Scrum events. There is so much more to learn out there, but to keep it short, that's all I had to say today. See you in the next video. Thank you for watching. If you did like our content, then please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you get notified next time we have new content for you.